Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. You're in the right place. I've noticed something uh, in the news a lot, actually, uh, where, you know, it'll start talking about fentanyl. Everybody's aware that fentanyl is flooding into the country and that people are dying all over the place. People you don't expect, people you do expect. Uh, dying of fentanyl overdoses. And uh, China always seems to come up in these conversations. You hear it in the news. It's always China. China's producing the, uh, the precursors to these things of this fentanyl that's flooding over the border. And I, you know, a couple of times this has occurred to me. Like, uh, well, okay, China's making the, uh, and I'm not saying this to excuse China, keep in mind. I've just noticed that there's this blaring omission in uh, the conversation about this. So China's making the precursors, the chemicals that go into making a lot of illicit drugs. But who are they selling them to and who is making the drugs? Well, it's the, the drug cartels. <laughs> I've just wondered, how come they don't talk about the drug cartels? Whoa! Thanks for sticking with us and bearing with my antics there. Trying a new different um, coffee here. I got some uh, locally roasted stuff. It's got kind of a, it said it had like a cherry flavor on it. And I, you know, I mean, they didn't add cherry. It's just, you know, they always tell you like what's in it. Uh, you guys don't really care about what my coffee tastes like, but it has a cherry flavor. It's really good actually. But um, so back to this whole thing with the, uh, the drug cartels. I understand it's kind of a scary topic. Um, and I, I wonder half the time if that's why they don't bring it up. You know, you can talk about China. It's easy to bash China all the time because they're far away and they're kind of bound by, well, they have to at least appear somewhat, you know, normal. But when you're talking about the drug cartels, then you're you're stepping into the realm of dangerous criminal organization that has no problem. I mean, in pop culture, you know, we all know that they're going to do horrible things to you, right? If you cross them, and if you happen to be from the cartel, I'm not. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm helping you out here by spreading the word about how scary you guys are um, when it comes to this stuff. But I, I just noticed that you know they always want to bash uh, China about the illegal drug trade and the fentanyl that's coming into the country, and nobody says a word about the cartels. It's uh, it's just so strange to me. Uh, that That's something that's so close, and yet uh, we want to talk about China that's on the other side of the earth who's only making part of this. You know, Remember, they're just making the chemicals, which I, I imagine are probably used in any number of other industrial applications, you name it, or uh, other legitimate... Uh, medicine applications, I guess you could say. And I, uh, I, you know, why are we not talking about the people that are using them to make the drugs and then send them into the country to, you know, and resulting in deaths, I guess. And by the way, don't get involved in illegal drugs. I mean, if you're going to get medications or something like that, uh, go to a legitimate source at least, you know, like go to the doctor and if they give you a medication, then fine. But if you're some college student or something like that and you're trying to do well on a test, don't don't go buying Adderall and all that stuff. And what what a dumb thing to do. If you have to do that, then you're probably in the wrong place. You, you don't really don't need that college degree. It's not worth it. It's certainly not worth the risk nowadays that you might end up with, uh, I don't know, fentanyl. Uh, that's something I heard, which I, I kind of found... A little bit disgusting that uh, they have to do that, right? They're going to bring up, okay, well, it's, you know, never mind all those druggies. Who cares about them? They're dying right and left out on the streets. We, we don't really care about those people. Those are, they don't matter to society. But there's college students that are overdosing on fentanyl. It's like, hey, these are human beings we're talking about here, you know? Every life has more value than you could possibly imagine. Um, anyway, that's a side thought. 
you know, back to these cartels, they make enormous amounts of money. I've been shocked, you know, just the official numbers that come in from the government talking about what they make just from human trafficking. Just from the human trafficking, which, you know, we all know the border's been wide open and that's been a pretty easy business as of late. $13 billion from human trafficking and smuggling operations by the cartels on our border. That's that's pretty crazy. Never mind the money that they're making from the drug trade. I have no idea. Nobody knows how much they're actually making. All of it in cash. Keep in mind. How... How, how difficult would it be for these people that are very close by to bribe our already known to be corrupt officials here in the United States government? I just don't know why, why more attention is not given. Is it because people are scared? I mean, I, I totally understand if, you know, this is a scary subject. I, you know, even I sitting here in my, my attic bedroom sort of uh, quasi studio feel Nervous talking about that subject because, you know, these people you've seen on Breaking Bad, what these people, they've got the two guys that come, you know, and they're like unstoppable and you, you hear about all the crazy stuff happening. Anyway, a lot of this is in my mind today because I uh, I was looking on Fox News, you know, their website. I've, I've never gone to their website before, but today I went to the website and they had this article about, um, I, I guess, a National Guard helicopter that had crashed. And, you know, three soldiers died in the crash and there were supposedly some cartel members who were using a drone and they were laughing, I guess, about what had happened and saying, like, go to hell. I, I'm, I'm not entirely clear as to the situation, how Fox News or anyone else would have gotten the drone footage of these people laughing or if it was them recording themselves flying a drone Laugh. I, I don't know what the situation was, but supposedly they were over there laughing. And I was thinking to myself, we talk an awful lot about China, but is anything being done to deal with this problem? And I'm guessing the answer is no, because everyone is so silent about it. It's one of those things you just don't talk about, I guess. Um, we'll see what YouTube likes or thinks about this uh, particular subject but i uh, i really have to wonder why is there not more i guess i don't know the uh, the answers are probably uh, so obvious i i better watch out i might get slapped in the face by them i better keep an eye out but uh, yeah maybe that's uh, one of the reasons that the border is wide open people think that it's because well joe biden and the democrats they just you know love Illegal immigration, and I mean, they can't say that. They can't say illegal. They have to say migrant, I guess. But uh, they, they love these people, and oh, no, no, it's not migrant. What, what do they call it? Undocumented immigrant, I think, is the, the term that they're using. Something along those lines. Something to go with uh, not having documents, not having, you know, identification, that sort of thing. Uh, I can't remember the exact term. It's something ridiculous. But you all know what I'm talking about, the illegal limit. It's not because they they care about these people and they, they just, oh, man, I feel so bad for these people. They're just trying to trying to make it here in the United States. And, you know, we, we just uh, really love those people. They don't care. They're, come on. They, they don't care about you. They don't care about them. They don't care about anybody except themselves. And I have to wonder, you know, is the reason that the border has been wide open because somebody's getting a little bit of a kickback, maybe, from uh, having it that way. And now that the these people are in charge of the government, uh, at you know every level, I guess they can make sure that the door is wide open so they can collect their, uh, their kickbacks. I don't know. I feel like there's probably some level of corruption going on. Or somebody, well, no, it's probably corruption. Either way, it's corruption. I, I, I can't say for certain because I don't have the evidence, but um, I feel like it's it's staring us right in the face as they leave the borders wide open and even fight in court to make sure that they can continue destroying the border walls. It's, um, oh, and stopping people who actually want to enforce the law from being able to enforce the law. And then they have the gall to get up in front of everybody and say, you're past the, the bill that says that we can, you know, go and protect the border. It's like, we don't have to pass a bill. It's already the law, you know? We were doing just fine before. What do you need an extra bill for? You you could just go do it right now like you're supposed to. In fact, I feel like people should be able to sue because you're not doing your job, you know? That, that's kind of what you're in the government to do. 
the law already exists. We don't have to pass a new law. So now just my thoughts. I think that there's some kind of corruption going on. And the uh, the reason they don't talk about the cartels is because, well, they're probably getting paid by the cartels. I'll leave it at that. It's the weekend. We'll see if I can get another video out tomorrow. Um, it might be tomorrow when I get this one out. I don't know, which would be today uh, as you're watching this. Whenever you're watching this, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll, I'll try and get it up within the time that I am uh, supposed to because YouTube says I'm supposed to be a daily channel. But, uh, well, today was a busy day with my son. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Hãy subscribe